Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Victoria and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 8 vegan slash cruelty free cleaning products that I like to use. So I wanted to share this video with you guys for the people that are interested in knowing what cruelty free products are good or just for people that are trying to use cruelty free products and don't know which ones are cruelty free. I'm just making this video to help you guys out. I am vegan and I've been vegan for four years now and I try my best to buy cruelty free cleaning products and also cruelty free products that I put on to my body. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing what products, what, what cruelty free products I do put on my body, for example like shampoo, um, body soap, lotion, etc. Please leave some comments down below and I will definitely make a video on that if you guys are interested in knowing that. Now, um, like I was saying, I've been vegan for four years and I try to purchase as much as I can cruelty free because I don't like it. I just feel like non vegan products are unnecessary. Like, they're just those products are being tested on animals and most of the times they're hurting the animals and we just we, that's so cruel and it's very sad honestly like just thinking about it like talking about it right now is making me want to cry <laughs> cruelty free products usually have less chemicals than non cruelty free products so that's a big plus so now I'm just gonna go on and show you the eight products that I use for cleaning at home. The first product is this one by Mrs. Mayer. It is a tub and tile cleaner. So I like to use this in the bathroom, of course, on the tiles. So I will spray this on the shower tile wall thingy and in the tub, so I just spray it, I let it sit there, um, I just, that's what the directions say to just let this product sit, sit there for a few minutes. I also do apply this to inside the toilet and as well as the sink where I brush my teeth and it does a really good job. Um, this one has a lemon scent they have different scents, but this is the only one I was able to find when I purchased it. So this is lemon. I know they have lavender, and I believe they also have like an orange, citrus, well, yeah, orange scent. Um, but yeah, this really does a good job. It really gets the dirt off. Like, I was surprised because, you know, it doesn't have that many, like, it doesn't have those harsh chemicals that non-vegan, non-cruelty-free products have. So... I was very surprised. I will definitely be purchase, purchasing this again. I bought this one at Target and um, you can find this in many stores, even supermarkets like Whole Foods, any health food store. I've seen them in regular supermarkets too. You just really have to look hard. But yeah, and it's not even that expensive compared to the non-cruelty free product. So it's so worth it. So yeah, this one is really good. The next product is this one by 7th Generation. My camera is not focusing. This is an all-purpose cleaner, so I also use this in the bathroom. I like to spray it in the tub, on the tiles, basically everywhere in the bathroom, as well as the toilet, the sink. Um, I also use this in the kitchen to clean the sink. And yeah, it, gets, it's, it does a really good job. Um, this one doesn't really have a fragrance, which I don't mind, honestly. Um, I think it's good for people that don't like fragrances. I don't really mind, it's okay. So, um, yeah, this is the one I use for all purpose. 7th generation. The next product is this one. It is Method Daily Granite. Well, the name is actually Method, but this is a granite cleaner and it is cruelty-free, plant-based, and it smells so good. It has an apple orchard scent and I love how this smells. So I just use this for the granite. Yeah, surface, safe, non-toxic, plant-based, shines, granite, marble, and stone. So I love this stuff. 
smells amazing and I'm so happy that it's cruelty free. I purchased this at Target and when I bought it I didn't know it was cruelty free till I actually brought it home and um, was reading more about it and it turned out to be cruelty free which is awesome. Next product is this one, seventh generation dish soap. I love this stuff. I've been using this dish soap for a very long time, probably over two years. This one has no fragrance. It's okay, but I, I prefer it to have a fragrance. I like the lavender one, and there's another one. It's like a, I don't remember what it's called. It's like, I think it's like air fresh or, I don't know, but um, it, it's blue. And I've also tried the orange too, which is good, but my favorite one has to be the lavender. That's one I had before this one. And I realized it didn't have a scent once I got home, but I was just like, whatever. I guess that's why it was a little cheaper. <laughs> but yeah, this one is so inexpensive. Um, every time I go to Whole Foods, I find it for like two something, like 230 something, which is not bad in my opinion. You can find this anywhere. I've seen this at Target, I've seen it at Whole Foods. I've seen it in supermarkets, like it's crazy, they're everywhere. So yeah, 7th generation. The next product is this one, Mrs. Mayer Hand Soap. This is the orange clove scent, it has to be my favorite. I think this is a seasonal scent. Um, I purchased this at Whole Foods, I think it was like the end of November, right now it's January. Um, I just had a different soap before this one, so I was saving it, and oh my god, I love this scent. It's amazing. I'm hoping it's not seasonal because it smells so good. But yeah, they have so many different scents, like lemon. That one's really good. I believe they have lavender, and I can't remember the other ones, but yeah, this is great. I love this soap. Oh, my favorite. So yeah, Mrs. Mayer hand soap. The next product is Dr. Bonner's. So this is an all-purpose cleaner. I usually use this in the shower, but you can also use this as a um, clue, as a laundry detergent. You can use it as hand soap. Um, you can use it in your hair. You can use it to wash dishes. You can use it to mop the floor. You can use it to clean any surf. Not any, I don't know about any surface, but most surfaces. Let's see. Um, you can use it to wash your fruits and vegetables. Um, you can use it to wash your dog. You can use it to shave. This this stuff is great. So this is all purpose and it's cruelty free. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals. Like this is great. This is really good. I love this stuff. The only thing I would say, um, I know this is. Um, a cleaning a vegan cleaning product video like household cleaning stuff but um i use this on my body mainly when i shower and it does dry out my skin a bit which i don't like that's the only bad thing i have to say about this soap but um yeah this stuff is great this is the rose scent i love all of their scents they have almond which oh my, i love i had that one before this one they have a lavender which is really nice it's very soothing they have an unscented one i have not tried that one i don't think i will try that one they have a peppermint that's the first one i ever tried i love it they have i think they might have hmm I don't remember the other ones, but I've only tried the rose, the lavender, and the, the peppermint, and lavender, rose, peppermint, and almond. I've only used those four. Um, I like them all. I would say my favorite one would have to be the almond one. This is second, lavender third, peppermint last. But yeah, they're all really good. If you guys use Dr. Bonner's, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite scent. Moving on, uh, laundry detergent, Mrs. Mayer. I love this stuff, it's great. Um, I have the lavender scent, they have other scents like um, lemon. Uh, I've only seen lemon and lavender, but I usually get the lavender because I, I really like lavender scented stuff and um, I really enjoy my clothes smelling like lavender after a nice wash. So yeah, this is great. It doesn't have harsh chemicals, which I love. Next is 
seventh generation laundry softener fabric softener yes seventh generation this is also lavender I just bought this one um, instead of the mrs. Mayer softener because at the time I think I bought this in um, Target and they didn't have the mrs. Mayer softener which I usually buy that but I got this and it was a bit cheaper so I'm not even upset and it smells good it's lavender it gets the job done it is a bit thicker than other softeners I've noticed which I find a little weird but it's okay I guess um, but yeah, those were all eight of my vegan slash cruelty free cleaning products. I really hope this video helped a lot of you guys as far as knowing what to purchase if you want to go all out and just start using cruelty free cleaning products. Like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in seeing what cruelty free products I use on my body, on my skin, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. That is everything. Like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, whomever. I would really appreciate the support. And again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Go cruelty-free.